94.5 Virgin Radio. Hey, what's up? It's Johnny, Holly, and Nira from Virgin Radio Vancouver, and we're doing Breakfast in Barbados with One Republic. We got Ryan and Zach. What's up, boys? Yo. How you doing? Okay, first of all, first things first. We are in Barbados. It is 27 degrees. Is this how you guys perform jeans and these runners? Like, are you not sweating it out right now? I'm actually not sweating right now. I know it sounds crazy, but like... I also just took a shower, so I've kind of cooled off. <laughs> I'm concerned been... after the show how you're going to get them off. Yeah, exactly. I'll be, it'll be, we're used to this. We used to play, this is, I mean, in, in all honesty, nothing, compared to Southeast Asia, oh, yeah. nothing. Oh, right. It's like 28 so, degrees right now. Yeah. It's nighttime and 28 like, degrees. So Johnny keeps so now, asking for like a nap. So now, yeah. so now imagine 42 degrees wow. in the sun in Singapore. And that's what, like, we've, we've done gigs where... Wow. Where you walk off stage and you're getting, you know, they have like an AC set to like zero blasting wow. you with water because people pass out. No way. Well, yeah. J-Lo has like professional nipple tweakers. Do you guys have like professional <laughs> gene peelers? No, we just help Man, each other out. Oh, that's <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> We're be invited to this party. Yeah, you yeah. 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 Because we want to create this job. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You kind of, you just kind of get used to being gross. And then once, <laughs> once you give into it, then like. You know, when you take a shower, it feels like you're, like, literally, you're, a, a, you've shed your skin and you're yeah. a new human being. It's wow, amazing. Well, you probably lose five during the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm great, jeans great on. new diet. I'm putting jeans on. Let's go right get now. jeans yeah. now. That's the diet. For sure we do. Jeez. For sure okay, we well, do. Well, you know, actually, Ryan, you one of the nicknames they have for you in the industry is they call you the undercover king of pop because you have worked with some of the biggest names like yeah. Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and you've worked with One Direction. Now, out of all the people you've worked with, who was your favorite? Are you allowed to even say who your favorite was? Um, I'm pretty vocal about that. I mean, like, my favorite experience just because it was uh you kind of felt i kind of felt like i was part of something that was going to be special i just had a feeling and it uh was adele on 21 um so i did i did two songs with her on that album and um those were that was my favorite experience i've had in the studio um but i've had so many other incredible experiences like i've i've uh from artist to artist i have an experience uh with we're talking about ed sheeran a minute ago like we played uh, the O2 in London, I don't know, how many, four months ago, three months ago, whatever it was. And, um, and uh, he and I stayed up. We met up on the set of X Factor because we performed the X Factor too. Right. Which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. Simon Cowell is cool a huge fan of yours, by yeah, the way. Simon, yeah, Simon and I are good friends. And he, and oh we, God, I imagine saying that. Like, all me and Simon Cowell are yeah, awesome. friends. Yeah. Yeah. Zach, you, you as well, right? No, I actually, They're besties. No, I met him once. I have no clue. <laughs> Simon applies his pasties when he wears pasties. Oh, that's Nipple awesome. tweaker. There Nipple tweaker. Yeah, he's the tweaker. Simon peels yeah. your pants. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, there so we he go. puts them on and Ryan takes them <laughs> yeah, off. There we exactly. go. Yeah. But like Ed and I stayed up till like probably 8 or 9 in the morning uh, writing a record in my hotel room. I had a studio set up and we just kept drinking coffee and Red Bull like to finish the song. And I've got experiences in Greece with the band that, that beat anything I've ever experienced. I mean, honestly, we're very lucky, very blessed. We've, I, have more, I have too many insane experiences I've already filled the bucket list. Awesome. So, yeah. amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Kind of on that note, bucket list, YOLO living. You wrote the song, I Live. Yes. And it's a very powerful song. And I know, did you write it? You wrote it for your son? I wrote it for my kid, yeah. Aww. And do you live that way? Because those lyrics are pretty powerful. I do. I, 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 I definitely, I don't think anyone would ever, there's a lot of, everybody has their flaws. I definitely have mine. That are, Mine are, if you live with me long enough, they're fairly obvious, as is with we anybody. We can't see them right now. But no. <laughs> right, now, <laughs> right now, I'm hashtag flawless. <laughs> Please. Uh, okay, Beyonce, continue. All caps. All caps. Wow. Um, all caps. But I would say um, one thing I definitely that nobody would accuse me of is not not doing, not like following through with what I say. If, if I if I start to talk about, hey, I have this idea, or hey, I think this yeah. would be cool. If I say it enough times, and kind of anyone that knows me knows, all right, he's gonna do that. And yeah. Come hell or high water, it's gonna happen. And I've just always been that way. So if I, and I'm and I'm also the guy like if I'm in a if I'm in a country or a city for. 12 hours I have I have literally mapped out for those 12 hours okay I'm going to see every single thing humanly possible in 12 hours and I'm going to take it in I'm going to document it I'm going to eat it drink it you know whatever experience it um and then I'm going to pass out on the plane. Perfect. Well, that, well, song, yeah. that song is basically like, remember in 2000, Leanne Womack, I Hope You Dance? Like, that's, that's my favorite. Oh. I know. <laughs> that, that was, hey. Around. We always no, say, like, that's that was my, back. so 
For the record, yes. Leanne Womack, I Hope You Dance, was the inspiration for I Live. Oh, that I is why it. I wrote that but song. It's like a dude it. side of it. Like, that's I am so cool. It's like the cool I, non I Hope You Dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. There's nothing like, wrong with no. the whatever. 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 No, that's like this, the non soccer mom version. But like, yes. yeah. I, uh, song, I Lived, honestly, I watched the video and I have two little boys. I have two little boys, four and yeah. under, and I bawled. I, have I just bawled well. and bawled. And it does that. It was the ugly ball. It makes people, it makes, it makes, I actually, the first time I saw the video, I teared up. Because yeah. I, I hadn't known, I, I knew yeah. what the story was. I didn't know what it, how it was going to come across. And, um, you know, it, uh, that, song, that song was me, my feeble attempt at, like, doing some iteration of I Hope You Dance. Because I Hope You Dance, whoever wrote, I don't even know who wrote that song. But whoever wrote that song, that is, I have maybe a list of, like, five or six songs that in this world I wish I wrote. Yeah. Like, could go back in time, I wish I wrote it, and that's one of them. That's Can you give me cool. one more from that list? That's cool. Uh, Jeff Buckley, Last Goodbye. Oh, yeah. um, and another one. A, a Beatles song, guaranteed, uh, right? Uh, Paradise, Paradise, speaking of Bar no, Paradise Barbados, Barbados, <laughs> Barbados, as many, as many insane songs as Rihanna has put out. Yeah. The other day, I was, I was in L.A., yeah. uh, like two weeks ago, driving up the 405, like the main crazy highway yeah, yeah, yeah. there, at like late at night, at like, I want to say it was like midnight, and Umbrella came on. Yeah, umbrella Dope song. Favorite. And I was I like, umbrella. and I was yes. like, I was like, oh yeah, my yeah, God, I almost so pulled good. the car over because I hadn't heard it in like three yeah. years. <laughs> and to this day, that is by far my favorite song. And I, okay. and I, and I, a, 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 all of it. Well, going back to a song you guys actually did write, Apologize. Yeah. I still, I can't, I have that on my cool down track, like when I'm at the gym. And oh, I just nice. to myself. And also <laughs> fights with her husband, let's be honest, yeah. on Nira. That song, I cannot let it go, Apologize. I can't. But what was the inspiration? Like, it's too late to apologize. Who are you guys talking to? He broke my heart. What's yeah. the story, Aww. right? Jack is a heartbreaker. He's what very happened? fine. It's, it's an everyday pop song about bitterness. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what like that is deep. Uh, I I, I wrote it um, over the course of six months uh, in like, oh my God, a long time ago, like oh, th probably 2003, 2004. And, um, and it was about uh, relationships. It was kind of my last, because at that point I had a pretty serious girlfriend. So the, apologize, and I, who I ended up marrying. So that, that was my last, like, you know, artist like Taylor, she yeah. has, you know, one advantage. She has a lot of advantages. One of them is. And I Dating think she, frequently. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, when you date, when you are single and you are dating, whether you're a guy or a girl, the amount between like the falling in love and the heartbreak and falling yeah. in love with the heart, the amount of like fodder you get for songwriting is endless. Yes. The moment you're in like a long term committed relationship, something stable, you're happy, easy, you have wonderful. To find, you have to find other sources and other inspirations that yeah. aren't yeah. just about relationship. And um, which for us has been amazing because we've been that band that's been able to write about like. We have the songs that aren't about, hey, let's just hook up tonight and popping bottles and like hands in the air and oh yeah. my god, you yeah. or Not you broke my heart. Bottle service is fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, but and, and there's plenty of artists, Lord knows, that get to write those songs, but we have to find those topics that are the less obvious that still people resonate with. Apologize was the last like uh, true like relationship song uh, yeah. that I wrote that was about all my dating experience. I love it. It's one of my A couple songs. girls that, so that, that frankly like you know I felt I felt played by yeah. I felt screwed by yes. it. and so I was and then they came back both of or three of them came back around uh, eventually and were and actually apologized to me. And do you uh, say it's too late? Please say yes. And one of them and one of them uh I won't say who it was, but there was first a, and last name only. Then okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Almost got yeah. It. yeah, so I have their social security number. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of them in particular wrote me a letter, and and uh, it was very kind and very nice. And it had been like three years. It was one of the first girls I really felt hard for, and uh, I, I was gutted when she when when she was like, let's just let's be friends, and yeah. like maybe she was like, you're the kind of guy I want to marry, like when I'm in my twenties, but I don't want to date right now. Ew, gross. And I was like seventeen. Run. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And yeah. so I was like, yeah. so long story short, I, I, I wrote back at some point was like, I thank you so much for this letter and blah, blah, blah. But it's a little too late to yeah. apologize right now. Nice. I mean, I actually did say that. Nice. Yeah. We so. have less than 30 seconds. Ryan, Zach, yeah. what's next for One Republic? Um, what album are we on now? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? No, are I have um, Where are we in this yeah. book? I, I'm focusing on the next Susan Boyle album right now. <laughs> um, no. um, Amazing. We're wow. making a new album. We're, we're halfway through uh, 
recording kind of all over the world. We're documenting it as much as possible uh, to, ma- to attempt to attempt to do a documentary about our life and the process, all the craziness. Like yes. L.A. last night for dinner, tonight, tonight's Barbados, tomorrow night's Quebec City. Wow. Like wow. trying to figure out how do you capture that in, 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 on video. So making an album and beating everything we've ever done, like writing the absolute best songs. We're writing uh, four times as many ideas as I've ever come up with uh, to, to make one album. Nice. So. Awesome. Yeah, Universal Music's very own One Republic. Thank Ryan, you. Zach, thank you. thank you so much, boys. So thank cheers. you. Cheers. Thank Beige you. Beige on style. Thank you so much. 94.5 Virgin Radio.